When people talk about having a normal bowel movement, do you know what normal actually is? Well, I'm Belinda Kirkpatrick. I'm a naturopath and a nutritionist, and I've got over 17 years of clinical experience. And you guessed it, today I'm going to be chatting to you all about poop. Now, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can be notified when we release more videos. Now, have you had somebody tell you what their normal was and it be so completely different to yours? If so, pop it in the comments below because what we think is normal isn't necessarily normal. It might just be our normal, if that makes sense. Okay, so it's really important that we're having a bowel movement every day. Now look, this is something that I talk about in clinic all the time. So poo talk is really normal for me, um, but I think for a lot of people, it's often like a quite a taboo subject. It's not something that you have to share with your family and friends if you don't want to, but it is really important that you're in touch with your body. You see what your bowel movements look like. You take note of how frequent or infrequent they are. Because a lot of people I speak to don't know if they go every two days, three days, twice a day. They really are quite disconnected from it. It's also really interesting to me and click to hear what everybody thinks their normal actually is. So I've said to people in the past, you know, do you go to the toilet regularly? And they're like, yep, yep, yep. And I'm like, oh, that's great. How often do you go? Oh, nine o'clock every Saturday morning. And you're like, oh, wow. Okay. So that is regular, but maybe it's not normal, it's normal for them, but it could be more optimum, um, I guess, and best, better supporting their body. So just because you think you might know what your normal is, it's really important to kind of understand that our bowel movements really are an indication of our health. And if we listen, it's actually our body talking to us, okay? So it is really important to be going regularly. Now, it's also really important to note that we're not all the same, we're not robots, thank goodness. So some people might be going once a day, some people might be going two or three times a day, and that's still considered normal. I like my patients to be going at least once a day. As long as it's um, formed and normal, then they can be going two or three times a day as well, as long as it's not loose or urgent. That's indicating that there's something there that we need to be having a look at. So a normal bowel movement should be sort of like a, a sausage shape. It should be smooth. It should be relatively easy to pass and it should feel complete when you're done. So, you know, that means that when you're finished, you feel finished and great. Not, oh, I sort of felt like maybe there was more. I need to go back to the toilet five, 10, 20 minutes later. So there are lots of different types of stools and this is our body talking to us and we can listen and see what's happening and then make changes maybe in our diet or maybe supplements we're taking um, or maybe go and speak to a practitioner if we feel like there's something really out of the ordinary. So if you're getting loose stools, I mean, that could be if it's short term, just like a viral infection, Quite commonly though, it's a food intolerance, most often a lactose intolerance. So it's probably worth taking out lactose or dairy out of your diet for a week and see what actually happens. It could be the reaction of your body to coffee. That's an inconvenient truth for many people. And sometimes even it's something as simple as your supplementation. If you're taking too much magnesium, particularly a magnesium oxide or a magnesium citrate, that can actually make your bowel contract and make you to go a little bit too frequently. Now, loose is a problem because we maybe just don't have enough time um, for our body to absorb all the nutrients before the waste is eliminated. On the flip side of loose is some people have really hard stools. Now, hard, small, small, dry, rabbit, pelly, rabbit pellety, usually a sign of constipation. So really important to make sure that you're looking at what you're eating. Is it too much gluten? Is it too many starchy carbs, not enough fiber? Maybe you're not getting enough exercise. Maybe there's not enough water. So really important to look at why those stools are happening. Sometimes people can even get mucus in their stools. That's not a great sign. That's an sign of inflammation. So there could be some kind of underlying inflammatory bowel disorder going on, or quite often it could be that there's a food intolerance there as well. So look at that and maybe work with a practitioner if you're getting mucus in the stools. Some people also get sort of sticky plasticine type of stools, often indicating a fat digestion issue. Um, people often get this on keto when maybe they don't have enough um, of 
off the starchy types of fibers and maybe too much fat, not everybody, um, but some people might be getting that. So it's great to sort of just be aware of what's happening with your body so you can make adjustments as needed. Now, constipation is probably one of the biggest things that I see in clinic all the time. So if you are constipated, have a look at your water intake. Are you getting 30 mils of water per kilogram of body weight at least? Are you getting daily movement and exercise? Are you having enough fibrous foods? So I'd recommend that you're getting at least four to five cups of vegetables and a couple of pieces of whole fruit a day. Now food really can be medicine. We've got these great foods that can really help to support our fiber intake and support um, regular bowel movements. So things like prunes are fantastic, uh, pears, a passion fruit, kiwi fruit, flax seeds, chia seeds, spinach. There really are so many kind of foods that we can add into our daily diet that can help to really support our gut health. And when we're having regular bowel movements, we also then are supporting our gut microbiome, our good bacteria, to its, you know, at its best. And that's really important for the rest of our health, including things like immune system, uh, our mental health, um, and even our hormones as well. If you are having problems with your digestion, I absolutely would recommend our fermented happy fiber. Now this is an awesome product because it's just 100% green banana flour. Now that sounds like a weird ingredient for those of you who don't know it, but it's actually an amazing form of this stuff called resistant starch. So it contains soluble fiber, insoluble fiber, you know, and fermented fibers as well. So you can add that in daily and that can really help with your bowel regularity. So I hope guys this gave you lots of information about poop, <laughs> everything hopefully that you needed to know. As always, you can take the quiz below to help you to find out which Happy Mammoth products are going to be right for you. See you next time, guys.